I decided to use a narrative PowerPoint to present my book talk. The book I chose was Layla's Lunchbox, a Ramadan story by Reem Farooqi. Even Isaiah's bologna sandwich looked tasty, and Layla didn't even like bologna. Her stomach rumbled. Imagine the feelings of excitement, fear, and utter agony when a long-awaited mo moment excuse me, finally comes. These are the exact feelings a young Muslim girl experiences in Layla's lunchbox. Layla recently moved to Petrie City, Georgia for, uh, from Abu Dhabi. She reached the age her mom deemed appropriate to fast for Ramadan. She is eager to, to begin the 30-day fast, but is fearful of what her teacher, Mrs. Penworth, and friends may think. On top of that, she yearns for opportunity to experience this special time with her friends back home. In an effort to find some resolve, she seeks counsel in her librarian, Mrs. Carmen. This book gives a vivid picture of the little Muslim student that carries a sense of pride in a pivotal time in her life. Their family praises and admires this moment with great pride and dignity, only to come into a culture that has, not, that has no appreciation for the magnitude of the moment. This would allow students to, to form a connection to the character for not only their practices, but the emotions they have during this time. The illustrations time both Arabic and American cultural dynamics. For example, the clothes and the table setting for Sari at Layla's house have traditional Arabic aspects. The pictures also capture a typical American school setting. Students will also be able to find ways to manage through a difficult time and turn it into a learning experience for all. Layla's Box highlights the importance of culturally responsive and inclusive environments that promote meaningful and authentic learning experience for students and teachers. This will be a great read for students. It's a realistic perspective of an ever-growing culture we have not yet developed an appreciation for. It highlights the civic duty that Muslims participate in and the appreciation of family during this celebration. I wish I had this book in my collection for my two Muslim girls that I have had that I had the honor of having in my class. This will be a great addition to any classroom library. I hope that you allow your students a chance to experience a real story that is that is indicative of the stories some of our most removed students live. They are not detached because they lack knowledge. Instead, they are quiet because they can't find themselves anywhere in the confines of the classroom or school. This book would aid in giving them a place and a level of comfort in knowing that who they are is represented and done so in a vivid and meaningful way.